This video is brought to you and powered by <laughs> Sunday Cool Teas. This video? This video? What this is video this? is brought to you by? This podcast. It's a podcast. This podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool Teas. Watch this video. Watch this ad oh, advertisement. Watch this advertisement. Or, or listen. Or listen. Or listen. Or, or you just, just, just thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. And visit oh. SundayCoolSwine.com for merch. Okay. Nailed it. Thanks. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for um, watching uh, this ad. Listen, hey, we want to let you know that it's our busy season, okay? We know that it's our busy season because it's your busy season. It's summer. Kids are out of school. You guys are going to camps, mission trips, all those types of things. But guess what? You need t-shirts. You need hats. You need stickers. And where else can you get customizable templates than sundaycool.com? There's nothing better. Look up here. Look at me. Make eye contact. Thank you. Listen. If you go to sundaycool.com, we have hundreds of customizable templates for you, for your group, for your organization. There's nothing better than this, all right? We offer 72-hour turnaround after art approval. We get it to you fast. It's going to be nice. It's going to be soft. It's going to be remarkable, won't it be? Yes. So what are you waiting for? Go to sundaycool.com. Start your order today. We love you. Yes. Those subs super fast. I know. This is what I'm talking about when I say you have a self control issue. Okay. <laughs> she does want to fight today. <laughs> oh man! Ding ding ding! <laughs> ding! Watch it. She, we we woke up this morning. And she was like feisty. <gasps> <gasps> Who said? Me. I went. I took a shower and I came out and you said, "Do you want to drop one more thing before you came out here?" <laughs> I know. I said. <laughs> I think you forgot to drop something because <laughs> she was in the bathroom and literally dropped 20 things. It was like, pow, 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 pow. hey, I have some things in here if you want to come in and drop them. <laughs> Throw them on the ground for a second. They go up a little bit higher. You want it higher? Yeah, it was like I'm slouching like this and I'm just like, he's you know, taller than you. myself. No. He is a little bit, right? Why do you re refer to yourself in the third person? I don't know. He's just in a certain mood today. He's feeling goofy. <laughs> he his he stomach hurt. <laughs> he hurt hair. He ate sub too fast. <laughs> ouch! Ouch! Andy, he, you know you're not supposed to eat the sub with the he sub feel sandwich too like fast. Farting. <laughs> bubble 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 he, bubble he feel bubble ow ow bubble ow, 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 ow. Ow. Um, we're so cute when we talk like that. Yeah. Exactly what I was thinking. I feel like I have food in my teeth. You do. All right, food in your teeth. Give us the intro. Uh, oh, no. What intro? The, uh... Oh, we do it at the end. Oh, that, uh... Duh. I'm, I'm losing it today. Yeah, you are. I'm losing it. He is silly. Why? Why I'm off the rails. Just... He's off the rails. <laughs> Why do we do it at the end? Yeah. Because there's energy built in it, and I feel like it needs to be... That's true, yeah, yeah. You just gave away, like, a little secret. <gasps> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> I will um, get you. <laughs> I will get you. I will get you. <laughs> Coming at you. <laughs> um, that hurt my throat. <clears throat> Look behind you. I was talking to the camera. Not everyone <laughs> in the room was like, "What?" I got goosebumps. <laughs> hey, we're not gonna eat. We're not gonna eat on camera. But Lily did get us cappies. Yay! Why? So good. So good. Why? Why did, why did you do it? Because. Because. I love you. Because. You hit 400,000 subscribers on YouTube! 400,000. I mean, that's that's something to celebrate for sure. Yeah, but I mean, I thought you got but like, but what's the, the But the real, the other reason is, the, but the real reason. Oh, no. The real reason you got is this up. Because, because of. I you know, it's, care about your hunger. Okay, yeah, okay I mean, that, that's, that's, sure. that's given. But like um, the, but the big reason, though, like what's, like, what's the, like happening? There's something no. happening. Soon, like. Pretty soon. Um, uh, live podcast? N that was no, last week. That was last week. Oh. That was last week. Um, we, you've already experienced that. So like this week when this podcast is out, there's something coming, which why, that's what I guess. Father's Day! Oh, Father's Day! Oh, Father's Day! Oh, my gosh. 
throw Happy me a Father's lifeline. Day, Dad. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Thanks, <clears throat> Lily, for remembering. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, just like we remembered Mother's Day. My calendar's <laughs> off. Um, Happy Father's Day, guys. You're such a good Spanx. dad. Spanx. Can you Spanx. give me more? Wait, wait. wait. I just, I feel like I'm. It, it's fully up. <laughs> oh, then I am <laughs> going down. It just, hurts. just take it off, Andy. Never mind. Go down a little. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. That Spanx. works. Back Freaking where we were. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> it was too loud before. <clears throat> um, do you want a song? Yes. Ooh. C. C. What kind of song do you want? Lily. Whatever you guys are in the mood for. Hmm. We well, came in a little hot and heavy, which kind of, I don't know, breaks my heart a little bit. Oh, you're not, you're not feeling a little heartbroken, are you? I think I kind of am. Okay. Well, maybe we can do a little bit of a makeup yeah. song or something. A little heartbreak, heartbreaker? Yeah. Happy da. Nah, baby. Maybe, maybe something from like... Yep. Yeah, no. Early, yeah. early 2000 vibes. Like, yeah, a, like, like a James J- Blunt. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Do a little James Blunt cover. Yeah. Like that. You guys ready? Yep. I think I got something. All right. I saw you there all alone in the pouring rain. I looked at you. You looked at me. We saw our pain. You took my hand. I took yours. We took flight If they say this is wrong I don't wanna be right I don't wanna be right I don't wanna be right Years went by We built a home Our love grew We raised kids Sent them off It felt so new a love so strong, a mended bond We were stuck like glue Never thought it would be Too good to be true Too good to be true Too good to be true I came home all alone Just before dawn House is empty freezing cold you were gone in a room laid a note right on the bed picked it up and my heart sank and this is what it said ninjas are butterflies son let me go so if you love me you gotta let me so I'll be back someday you must know, so quit your crying. We gotta start the show. We gotta start the show. We gotta start the show. Ninjas are butterflies. I love you. Ninjas are butterflies. Episode 40. I peed my pants One day The time is now A song wrecked my heart I'm sitting in a puddle of frowns I don't know (laughs) Whoa Man Oh man, that was hard, bro. You okay? Yeah, it was, it was just really that was really heartbreaking. Yeah. Yeah. But, whew, whew, oh, sorry. I just went there. I just uh, sucked me that was real right into that song. Yeah, it was it was really brought back some memories. Whoa. Uh, Yikes. Whew, man. <clears throat> sorry. Um hey. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, that was crazy. So like good. It? it was, I mean, you guys have both sound exactly like James Blunt. It's giving me, do you <laughs> exactly remember, like him. do you remember that skit they did on SNL where it was like Jimmy Fallon and somebody else and they did Simon and Garfunkel? Oh yeah. You guys were so giving me that, but James Blunt vibes. Nice. It reminded me like the, when he does the thing with Justin Timberlake. That's what I'm talking oh, about. Oh yeah. Like the Barry oh, Gibbs, the, ba- the Barry the Gibbs. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> um, not time my girlfriend go. You guys, holy smokes! So I have a question for you. When you were, have been singing that James Blunt song all around the house, what came first? Did did that being stuck in your head inspire this, or were you guys playing? When did you this? start singing it? Oh, that did inspire it oh, okay. a little bit. But yesterday, Andrew just started like riffing, and then one of us just went like, <laughs> "Yeah, I mentioned we need to like do we need to do like a love song yeah. type of thing," and it's like this really turned into like a, a terrible little heartbreak. It's song. really sad. It has nothing to do with ninjas or butterflies. <laughs> I, kept, I kept waiting for the. I'm Where like, is are that? you guys just writing a sad song? The, the poem is starts off with she's a nin ninjas or butterflies, so it's like this white woman leaving a poem, and it's like listen. <laughs> um, um, I'm a butterfly ninja, stealthy, <laughs> but you've got to let me go, right? You know, like it's why is it a white woman? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like something white women would say, like just like yeah. a journal. Yeah, yeah, like just take a bunch of things. Like this is just who I am. Just, just you just take two nouns and describe yourself. Gotta <laughs> let me go. Oh. So good. <clears throat> yeah. I don't want to be right. <laughs> it was that's good. Like, it's that's really a, good. I, that's so good. In a few months, we definitely need to start working on you guys in harmony. Like, yeah, I'm really yeah. excited to get there. Oh. This is like our own little singing lesson. Yeah. Nice. yeah. And Andrew's our coach. Oh. Wait, is, <laughs> is this the whole point of this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> to turn us into pop stars? <laughs> Your dad so told weird. me he'd give me a five grand a year raise if I started doing music therapy with you guys. Wow. Nice. Perfect. Wow. Music Look at therapy. That. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm crying. Yeah. Oh, he's We're subtly, working through it. He's nice. subtly putting these thoughts into our heads like, hey, yeah. I'm this lyrics. And like, it's just like telling all the stories from my childhood. I'm like, oh yeah. my goodness, it's yeah. out in front of me this whole time. <laughs> Speaking of your childhood. <gasps> I have a question. Oh, no. Yep. Okay. Hit me. This is very um, important question. <clears throat> Today's question sent in by a viewer. Are poor people annoying? Oh. What? It's such a ridiculous <laughs> question. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, but that's what they sent in. That's the per what the person sent in. Uh, are, are poor people annoying? Okay. Um, well, one, I don't think so because I think I mean, anyone could be annoying. Yeah. Like, I mean, like as, as humans, like I think everyone has a point of just being annoying at some point, you know? But like so. all, all in general, poor people are annoying. No, no, yeah. no. Andrew? I I can't relate to them, so. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we've all been a little poor in our lives. Yeah. So, like, I mean, like in some of us. Some would say, say still are. <laughs> Because someone you know. lives in a tow behind. <laughs> hey, hey, what? It's a mobile home, baby. I can go anywhere, um, but I choose yeah, not to. Yeah, and I used to like eat out dumpsters. Yeah, and so we've all yeah, and we've yeah. all been annoying. We've all been poor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't. Poor, poor people annoying. I don't think so. But I mean, anyone can be annoying, right? Like, doesn't matter like their status. Like, people are just people. Humans are humans. Correct. That whoa! Wait, no. Uh, wait, I'm saying, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no. Hold on, back up. Anyone can when, be annoying. Not whoa. Poor people are not annoying. But wait, so saying, poor people, but poor but people anybody. aren't anybody? <laughs> Is that what she's saying? I don't know. It's either that or she thinks poor people are annoying. I'm, I'm confused right now. I, I think did, I did I hear she, when I said are poor people annoying, she said correct. She said so because no, they're not anybody. Hey! So poor people are not only anybody. I guess they're annoying too. According yeah. to Lily, welcome to the show. Oh my God. Yikes. Lil. Come on. Watch it. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most ah! beautiful has an empty mind. You were martial arts. Fuck ninjas and that was hard. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> All these double negatives and stuff. We just keep going across them. Digging, digging, digging. <clears throat> yep. Found weakness. <laughs> as soon as you find She's it. She's not correct. <laughs> Get her. Dive. Um, <laughs> no, poor people aren't annoying. No. Unless they are. Oop. Anybody can be annoying. But poor people aren't anybody, according to you. No. That's not the case. Lily always complains. Oh, I'm people are always asking for change. Always <laughs> ask for change. I'm like, come on. Oh, poor crazy. people. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> my gosh. I'm going to delete that's not the case. She said, poor, pe poor people are annoying. She goes, or she said, yeah, that's not the case. So, yeah, <laughs> delete Yeah, the with content. editing, Andrew could mix her words around like, poor yeah. people are annoying. <laughs> poor people are <laughs> annoying. Um, How's everybody? Oh, good. So good, dude. I 
loved those sandwiches. Hungry. And they were even a little bit cold. I know. <laughs> and, and Lily forgot Party Andrew's fail. lunch. I forgot Andrew's lunch. The first time we ever met Andrew, we took him uh, to a trip to Montana to do some work. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to make wake up early and make breakfast. And I made breakfast, and it was eggs, bacon, pancakes, everything. And everything had butter on it, of course. <laughs> and I was like, oh, darn it. Darn it. Andrew is allergic to dairy. Yep. Darn you, dairy. But not in the way that you take one of those like pills over yeah. the counter that it's in the way that he dies. Yeah. I think as, um, instead of Surf Ninja, we, I mean, um, yeah, Surf Ninja, we just need to start calling him the Dairy King. <laughs> Nice. So, <laughs> embarrassing story about myself. When I was in youth group, like sixth grade, they'd be like, hey, anyone have prayer requests? And I would pray for my ailments, which were allergies, arthritis, and asthma. And so I got nicknamed all through middle Triple school. A. Oh. A. <laughs> all I imagine is like, you know what? Let's lay our, let's lay hands on Andrew and pray. And there's like this like slob from the back row. This seventh grader has pizza all over his hand. Just <laughs> <laughs> I got slapped with a piece of pizza in youth group and literally had a triangle rash from getting like, my buddy was like, so it can't touch you. I was like, no, it can't. And he backhanded me with a slice oh of pizza. Oh my God. Good buddy. We, yeah. we did <laughs> good we, friend. We did a video where I had a pizza or you had a pizza and we slapped it like full palmed it. And yeah. we joked about it. Oh, we're chasing <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> Come here. This isn't funny. You guys, <laughs> you guys I have so much. Yeah, it feels like we haven't Look been around us. each Look other. Wait, is that all we're going to talk about the sandwiches? Oh, oh. sure. Yeah, mention it. Go Cat bees in Winter Park. Holy smokes. Sandwiches. Dude. Hot sandwiches. You picked it up so and you good. told them who we are in yes. our podcast and they charged you full price. <laughs> Well, they didn't know. They hadn't looked it up. So, guys, just saying. boycott cat. No, I'm yeah. <laughs> What if they think we have like 500 people that watch us? Yeah. That could be the case. People with 500 subs don't matter, according to Lily. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Cappy's is my numero uno. That is Number pretty one. stinking delicious. Not what I thought of Philly cheeks. It's not like the normal classic Philly cheesesteak, right. but yeah. it was delicious. Delicious. Like, like pepperoncinis like on it. Ground beef oh, yeah. Philly cheesesteak. Yeah. Mm. It's like a, like that's like the they, chopped cheese in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, that's their yeah. Philly cheesesteak. It's the chopped cheese. It's, I felt like that. It's a New York Philly. Mm. Hey, if you don't get it, then you just don't get it. It's not called a Philly cheesesteak. It's called a chopped up New York special. Yeah, what is it? What is know, what, what they call it? That's what they Give call me the Aki nice way. Thing. Remember that? The, oh, yeah. the deli? Sure. Hey, hey speaking <laughs> of New York. <gasps> What's happening there? Dune is happening there. Do you ever do the sand shuffle when you walk? Huh? Do you ever oh, do yeah. the sand shuffle when <laughs> you walk? The, the. Yeah, did you you saw what's happening in New York? Uh, yeah, it's New York? crazy. New well, mo- mostly, yeah, mostly happening because of what's happening in Quebec. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. For those of you, you if, for those of you who don't know, the French people have started fires uh, <laughs> up in Canada, and now it's all the of French our fault. are starting the fires. <laughs> Thanks a lot, French. Um, but there's there's conspiracies surrounding it, Lil. I know. I saw something. Dang it! What do you hear about it? Stop looking at stuff. Let us be the I, keepers of conspiracy. I didn't see just at definitive. Home. I, I just saw someone commented on their video. They said, why don't we see any images of the Canadian side of fires? Oh, yeah. Like, of, like the videos and pictures yeah. of the. Is there not? Of, not that I no. I just Googled real quick. I mean, the thing is, they could be reusing that footage from we have forever long ago. We have no idea because I'm like, yep, yeah, that's trees that are on fire. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That looks about right. Yeah. Checks out. <laughs> but Where's the, those... I don't see the croissants anywhere. It doesn't look <laughs> French. <laughs> when this podcast comes out, um, it would have been. A week so, and a half ago. Yeah, yeah. Week, week and a half ago. So this is two days old. Yeah. Um, the Canadian fire. So we don't know what's going to be the deal a week. Yeah, hopefully they from, get it under control, but it's the no. beginning of June. Yeah. This is like just happening. And so it's it's kind of a bummer because they got a long season ahead. They're but super, what super happened dry. was, do you see that satellite view of all the like, no. oh, dude, it, there's a, oh. it, someone took a satellite view and it was like all at once and like, it looked like a 500, 800 square mile radius. Fire's just all at once went up it was but a, like it was a time spots. lapse it's weird yeah i mean so you see that see how they're just starting over and over and over again oh my gosh they started the exact same time listen yeah. we should phone a friend who who griffin. smoky the bear griffin <laughs> oh because he's a fireman and ask if ask if that's normal well they blamed it on lightning what but they said it was yeah. a clear day they said There's weathermen day. that are on ca- on camera saying it was a clear day. How's it going to hit in several spots at the same time? That's, that's the what well, we're then, saying. And, that's a lot, and a lot of people will be in the comments because I've seen it where people are like, well, you know, that's how wind works. That's how this happens. It didn't show up. 
Um, it is. It just looks like it started at the same time, but it's like it. it the fact that people are questioning it means that it's out of the ordinary. Yeah. And, you know, this isn't a normal thing. If it was completely normal, then we would be seeing more footage like this compared. Yeah. And so it's 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 just strange. A lot so of there's it's, a lot of theories. <clears throat> um, what's his name? The Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. 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 Yeah. Jeremy Justin. Justin Trudeau. J Dog. Wait, is that the actor? Justin. His name is Justin Trudeau. Yeah, Trudeau, the Trudeau. Prime Minister of Canada. He's of Malaysia. Bl- he's blaming it on uh, climate change. Yeah, okay. And So quickly. Yeah, but Canada's I mean, doing like Because we some didn't have wildfires before pollution or anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, maybe, are, they, are, we just, are we just more prone to more now? Or are they having more than ever before? But it's like either but way. I read an article that said he's blaming climate control or climate change, and but he has been warned by multiple people that, Ahead he, of needs, time. that he needs to take care of- The forest. Or, um, yeah, of, what do you call it? Like regulating- Conservation stuff yeah. kind of? Yeah. yeah, like because doing more bird controls and like keeping yeah. the forest more at bay to where you don't have these yeah. millions of acres of forest catching on fire. But <laughs> the thing that's going on right now, especially with Trudeau and in Canada, there's- and I'm going to maybe butcher a lot of this information, but the thing is that they're they're really pushing that 15 minute city type of mentality. Have you heard of that? No. Where if you're like a 20 minute city, 20, 15 minute city where it's, you can live in the city and everything you could possibly need, schools, groceries, hospitals, uh, home, work, everything could be within 15 minutes. Yeah. And so they've been really pushing that agenda for a long time. Ever since 2020, that's been like part of their political campaigns. Mm. And a lot of people are anti against that because it feels like it's going to take their freedoms away. And a lot mm. of, there's going to be a lot more, um, uh, they're already starting to track um, with cameras about, you know, like license plates, information oh, and no. finding people just through cameras and stuff like that. And well, then they're like going to be leading into facial recognition things. Oh, no. You said there's like some cities that have these regulations to where they have these cameras set up to where you're not allowed to enter or leave like without the government's permission. Is that right? That that's what they're saying. That's what some people or are saying. Like so leading like leading to we, yeah, or? that's what the the ho- the it's, the goal? It sounds harsh. 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 <laughs> it sounds harsh. It sounds harsh, I tell you. <laughs> uh, but um, it sounds a little harsh right there, but that's what people are saying. That's what it's going to lead to is because they are they are already, they're not able to travel if they mark your camera. They're, you're more likely going to get stopped. You're going to get flagged wow. because, oh, you have to pay these or whatever before you leave. And so it's just it's just weird. Yeah. A lot of weird stuff. And um, they're saying they're blaming on climate change, whatever. I can't speak into that. But it, this is pushing a lot of people into the cities. Yeah, not rural areas. Interesting, and so that's what the conspiracy theory is with that. <gasps> I see. The, or, the New York Times has even wrote the um, an article about this. Yeah, so it's yeah. My next question was going to be like, what do they have to gain? What's the what's the control? Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Information control. Mm. But some people have also said that it's a distraction from something else. Look over here. <laughs> hey, look at hey hey. You got a lighter. <laughs> hey, what's that? <laughs> is that a fire? Um, no, but. Um, my theory is there, it's a distraction from this major news thing that's trying to get swamped over regarding, um, regarding in regards to UFOs. <laughs> How did I know? <laughs> Aliens. Should have known. It was a high level intelligence guy that worked for the Pentagon. Okay. And the, it's called the arrow, which is a, whatever the acronym for that is. It's like for. Aerial phenomenon, whatever. It's like the UFO division of Pentagon. Let's, okay. let's keep coming up with. Um, Let me tell this. Things for <laughs> UFOs. Um, high level intelligence. He was a whistleblower. So he got this documentation and was told by people above him that there is a secret program within the military that have been collecting crashed UFOs, mm. UAPs for decades now. Yeah. And I figured. And then when he did this whole interview, like I didn't watch the whole interview, but he's like, it's, he's like, there's, there's different intelligent life. Like there's, like there's different kinds. Like there's yeah, these aliens, said, these aliens. Well, he's just saying he doesn't know that. He's just saying oh. like, we're for sure not alone. Oh wow. And this, I mean, I, I think it's angels or demons and right. stuff like that. But um, he basically he gave this interview. And he's like, I'm probably going to lose my job, blah, blah, yep. blah. Then Arrow, the um, sect of the um, Pentagon that he works for, they came out with a statement and basically said, we don't have any crashed uh, remains of any aircraft, non-human origin. Yeah. What blah, even blah, is blah. a UFO? And they said, but if you do come across it and you work for the government or not in the government, 
please let us know and like we'll run it through the ranks or whatever. And it's like, you guys, you're yeah. you know there's <laughs> something. Yes. You know you got some back there. So because at the, the the White House briefing, what do you call it? The the with the lady where she speaks to all the journalists. Uh, Just a White yeah, House yeah, briefing, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um she was asked that. It's like what uh or one of the journalists said uh, in regards to today, uh, the whistleblower from the Pentagon came out and said that they have recovered for decades um, non-human origin craft. What do you have to say to that? Or basically, are yeah. we alone? And she's like... Is it yes or no answer? And she's like, um, I, that's a better question for the defense secretary. Yeah, well, it is. <laughs> and she's like, you know, this the, is weird. You're saying the press secretary, right? Press secretary, yeah. yeah but said this is a better question for the defense Defense secretary. And that secretary guy's over defense, here and yeah. he's going. He's like, come on, <laughs> answer that. <laughs> Golly, um, dude, there's, I, I saw, uh, it was a whole, it was like a documentary clip or something. It was just a tidbit, but it was like about 10 minutes and Barack Obama sitting down. We have government officials talking about it. You have people on like, like Mick Romney still, like he's putting in his two cents. Mm. It's all these people just saying, yeah, this is, this is something out of this world because Russia's nowhere near this type of technology. China's nowhere near this yeah. type of technology. Something's happening. Something's happening. And we don't have any answers. Yeah, Here's my real. question is like, it's so secretive. Yeah. And there's been, I was listening to this podcast and they're talking about just like aliens and UFOs throughout the, um, uh, just America being founded or whatever, yeah. like going back to like George Washington. Mm -hmm. And it's like this crazy stuff. But there's been so many presidents of questioning like like what's what's up with intelligent life or outside this world or whatever and it's like but why are they hiding it like what do they have to gain from hiding it yeah mm. you know yeah i don't know i guess um it probably mayhem would ensue or control yeah of weaponry too weaponry is a big part of it i think yeah because like i think it's funny just because one everyone who saw you this is not new conversation obviously but like everyone who saw ufos in the past you're crazy right they got labeled crazy it was so easy and then technology started happening and started building more and more and more and now it's to the point where it's like it's hard to deny certain things so we're like okay we'll yeah we have to own up to this because people are seeing things that we've got to own up to it. it's just like the truth will be revealed no matter what just mm. like how body cams are now revealing like, oh, there's a lot of like, you know, injustice happening yeah. because of the, out in the world. Yeah. And it's something like that. So it's curious to be like, what's the next step? What's one person going to record with their video and be like, there's something more to this. Yeah. Like we're going to, there's going to be, a well, lid's going to blow it off. I don't believe in aliens. I believe in spiritual creatures. Something. Yeah. 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 You know, they talk like, about cherubim and seraphim and have, they have eyes all over their body and wings and like crazy looking crazy. Which leads me into this thing. I keep teeing you up. Yeah. <laughs> what do we have? Like, I, I, oh, I you guess guys I, are so cute. <laughs> I forget to write it down. I did forget to write it down, but you made me remember it. Oh, I, someone, do you like that? I think her name was, <laughs> you like me now? <laughs> someone sent me a news clip on the ninjas Instagram, Nicole, uh -huh. and it was, Thanks, um, in Las Vegas this week, a policeman was like pulled someone over and his body cam caught this thing, glowing thing, oh, like hit the earth. And then where it hit, they got a couple calls from people that said that they're looking at the crashed thing. Uh oh. And there was, this is weird. Okay. <laughs> he said the guy was calling. He's like, hey, up. something just crashed in our yard. Mm -hmm. Um, and they're like, okay. Well, yeah, we actually got reports of something coming down from the yeah. sky or whatever. He's like, you're you're not gonna believe me, but um, out with it. There's two beings standing right ah! beside him. Oh, what do you mean? What do you mean? And he said they they, they don't they look weird. And she's like, can you describe them? And he's like, I, again, he's like they look like they're eight to ten feet tall. <gasps> Their eyes are all over the body. No, he said their eyes are really big. And then, like, the police came, and the police was like, I'm not calling you crazy, man, because I saw yeah. something fall, crash. Fall down. And he's like, he's like, just, I honestly just stay inside, and if you see it, you have my permission to do something. Like, shoot it? Yeah. Okay, well. And then. Um, you're scared right now. I guess yeah. but, body language. <laughs> but then um, <laughs> when the cops came to the crash site, like, because they're interviewing the people, mm -hmm. everything was gone. And the guy was like. 
Beep boop bop. Beep, I bop, called bop. you. I am the police officer now. <laughs> <laughs> I have a telephone. But that's weird, right? That's super strange. Super strange. So then what do you think that was? Do you think that was aliens? I don't think it was aliens. I think it's... I have a whole thing. Yeah, see, I have a whole <laughs> deep, well, they, deep thing. They about talk it. about too how angels. You know, everybody has this concept of angels having like wings and like the robes and all that. But really, angels were men. They looked like men, and they were very beautiful. And they had all these like crazy features. And I can imagine they're tall. And from what I know? from what I know, there's never referenced angels have wings in right. the Bible. Like it's, it's always been assumed or it's been hinted at or something like that because that's. How else would you travel from heaven to earth? You yeah. Know? Yeah. We talked about that on one podcast and we were like, yeah. um, that's not true. Yeah. So, so what about what? The angels don't have wings. They're so like cherubim and seraphim. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I think they're a different spiritual band, but think about yeah. the story of like Sodom and Gomorrah when the, the two angels went to the city and they said, those men are so beautiful. Yada, yada. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they looked like men. That's what they were saying. Beautiful yeah. men. That's strange, like man. And Andy and Andrew. We are beautiful men. Are you guys angels? We are so we are beautiful, um, boys. Yeah. <laughs> That's know. strange, man. I, that, 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 those, the videos that they shared in that thing was really, really scary. And there's one that I have never seen before, and it's literally just a black dot just soaring across the sky, and it's government confirmed. And it's like, what are we supposed to do with this? I guess I'm just freaked out because it's like the like the cops, like you could tell in their voice they, they were, were scared, yeah. freaked out. Yeah. Because they're like, yeah, we saw something. Yeah. You know how um, you repeat things for emphasis, like, right? Like, so like you, like there's some stuff in, you know, stories or books or Bibles or like, if you really want someone to remember it, yeah. like this is the thing you keep repeating it. Yeah. I feel like once we just run a news story that, Hey, aliens are real. And then we just, we just move on to the next day's news stories and never mention it again. That's such a problem. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like yeah. every, every news story should be like, hello, welcome to channel seven news reminder. This happened yesterday. <laughs> and then just like the shots of the like aliens exist now on with the other stories and, like that just runs <laughs> yeah, yeah, for a yeah. full year yeah because people just i i feel crazy because people are constantly talking about this but it's yeah. like we keep bringing it up but like it's insane that we yeah. haven't confirmed what this is yet i just want to know how big that guy's yard is something from space flies by true cr crashes in the yard and then i'm like well in you know what's the average yard like a third of an acre yeah and so you know in that span of Thing that's supposed to, that's, I'm so distracted right now because I mean, there's a camera being <laughs> reset in front of me. Yeah, but it yeah has it's to be like a big a, yard. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But to go with the, the concept, my mom and I were driving in Delaware one time and literally middle of the night, just a cruise, it's dark, and then a blue orb just like, oh no, like flew by us, like lit up the car. It was like, it was like lightning. Yeah. But it passed from behind to forward. That was a good sound effect. <laughs> I've seen a couple um, things try, like that. Try one. I can't. You have to try it. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. What was that? Should I? Should Did I? You guys hear that? <laughs> should grab that sound clip and all the reels. Just use her. <laughs> um. Well, I've been listening to the uh, Book of Enoch mm -hmm. lately. Yeah. yeah. Which I don't know. I've read different things about its credibility and whatnot because it's such an old book mm -hmm. that it's not no longer credible because it's been translated so many times and stuff was added stuff was taken yeah. out and mm -hmm. we believe in the divinity of the bible yeah. and that it was chosen by god all those books to go in and yeah. happen for a reason yeah but there's it talks about in it so i'm not taking it all for truth right yeah. it's just yeah. Yeah, it's kind of just fun to listen yeah. to but it talks about the original fallen angels that came down and how they gave this insane wisdom to basically heavenly wisdom yeah. to the men of earth, but they were corrupted one because they rebelled against God. But then um, it said at like one point, basically like they wanted to come back into the presence of God, but they weren't allowed because of, the evil that they had done on earth, uh, including sleeping interesting. with the, the women yeah. of, on earth. Yeah. But they said that the Nephilim race that was born were basically God deemed them as like the most cursed thing ever because it was something of an eternal being um, laying with a mortal being. Mm -hmm. And um, it no said that holy. they said that when the Nephilim die, that their spirits will be basically trapped on earth forever Oof. and doesn't so like, that remind you of that like statue? demons yeah i think about that statue <laughs> again oh, we talked about. don't know 
Don't know. I'm not saying this. Hey, is, I'm not saying again, it it's fun we're to a bunch of dum dums. It's hey. fun to talk about. It is fun to talk about. As long as it's not harmful, don't believe anything we're saying. Yeah. <laughs> There has to be a disclaimer at the yeah. beginning of every podcast. <laughs> but yeah, I think it, the whole yeah. things could be. I I'm, not either way. Off I'm not convinced either way. I'm not convinced either way. Just work them in. Wee woo, wee woo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah. Aliens. Aliens. What are you going to do about them? What's up with that? <laughs> What's up with that? Hey, can we be the first podcast to actually have an alien? Sure. <laughs> Actually, as a guest. But if we that believe that they're evil, <laughs> evil demons. Keep your distance. <laughs> but. But. If us. you were a food, what would you be? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but speaking of aliens. Are you. What? Are you. Don't. <laughs> Josh, please don't. We have a dad. Don't go anywhere. Be my baby. You can make me disappear, right, Andrew? Yep. <laughs> Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the podcast, but I just want to tell you guys, I want to tell you guys something really cool. Something very cool. Here at Sunday Cool, we offer really, really cool inks. Really cool inks. We do super soft ink, water-based, but I want to tell you about something really, really special. Really, really special. It's called our Sun Reveal Ink. Sun Reveal Ink. It's an ink that is dyed into the fabric and... When exposed to the sun. <laughs> exposed to the sun. A design magically appears right before your very eyes. It magically appears. It's beautiful. It's vibrant. It's one of a kind. It's beautiful. <laughs> Very beautiful. <laughs> and your design, to make it extra special, can really, really stand out. You too can have Sun Reveal Ink on your t shirt. All you got to do is go to sundaycool.com. Start your order today. Start your beautiful order today. <laughs> and listen, when you make a call to us, and if you ever miss up, mess up on your words or anything like that, we won't make fun of you. We'll just say it's beautiful. Because it's we're beautiful. good people and good it's friends. It's true. So go to sundaycool.com, order your Sun Reveal shirts today. They're amazing. Shut your mouth! We're making fun of me! <laughs> Shut up. You were so off rhythm, dude, so don't even. I know, but. You were terrible. Was the I was worst pausing, I was like, pitch and then you you come in like five seconds later. <laughs> I quit the podcast. No, I quit. I'm done. We're done. We're done. Welcome don't back. Say it. Welcome back. Hey, it's gonna be back, baby. Oh. That made my brain go, whoa, whoa, That was a lot. Whoa, 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 <laughs> I don't think we plan on going that hard into the alien stuff. No, because I have something big I want to talk about. Big. Big. Your posture got like this. You were like, and this. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you were scared talking about it. The thing is, I came in today with one subject that we haven't even talked about. Uh-oh. <laughs> and we talked about a lot of things already. Is it the one you researched? Do we, do we want to do Do we want to do the question real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was right. leading into that. Yeah. Okay. I, I didn't know. Don't rush me. Okay. Well, you just started, I got, I got you my... started, you started teeing up. You're a big subject. I know, but I was going to say, but first. But you're teasing it so people stick around for the whole uh, thing. Uh, <laughs> you're not going anywhere. <laughs> you're stuck. <laughs> Try. Go go check your door. It's locked. You're not able to leave. Now look behind you. Ah! <laughs> um, Andrew, do you have a reel? I do have a reel. Oh, Andrew has a reel. Andrew has a reel. Andrew has a reel. I wonder what it is. Where it's from. <laughs> where it is as well. I don't know why I said wonder where it's from. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Gosh. We cl we did so good on the opening song, though, so we're good. Yeah, yeah I guess I you had to mess up somewhere. I had a little grace. <laughs> All right, everyone's got their phone volumes oh, yes. on for this one. Volumes on, baby. Yeah. And so I want to know, it's a sport thing. If you're on the team and you see this happen to a teammate, what do you do? All right, you ready? Uh, I'm, I haven't yeah, sent it yet. I'm letting everyone. Only know. one person uh, should do volume in their microphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll turn mine down. I'll turn mine down. So I'll up? do volume. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you volunteered. Sent. All right, ready? Three, two. Wait, wait, no, wait. Oh. I'm not ready. Okay, go ahead. Three, What's two, one. one. Ooh. Oh. It's like one of those, like, he's okay. 
What's your question? <laughs> what do you What do you do if you see something like that happen to a teammate? That seemed really, 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 really extra. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I don't know the rules for rugby. I think rugby players are just. I don't know Savages. if rules about. Can, are you allowed to pull people back like that? Like, because in football, like you can't pick somebody up and start running with them yeah. and then tackle them. Yeah, well, you look look at the intention like. on the Wheelbarrow. final bit of that drive. The person's flipped under them. Yeah, that this someone said something about yeah. that one's mother. Or that's a, that's Dude, just called that, follow through, baby. That was you gotta go hurt so go to the whistle. Bad. Question is the one is that a woman? No. What, you, what, you, what, what, what is it, Matt Walsh over that here? Right there. <laughs> <laughs> with the red hair? Yeah. In your no, face, Matt Walsh. With just with long hair. Oh, those exist? <laughs> um. <laughs> nope, because real men have no hair. <laughs> Thanks, Lily. <laughs> or receding hair. <laughs> oh, no. You want to go? No, I don't want to fight you. I want to fight you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to fight you, I but I will hit a woman. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't want to fight you, but I will hit a woman. <laughs> Come here, lady. <laughs> no. Just kidding. I would never hit a woman Ever. unless it was that one. <laughs> <long. laughs> I was just going to say, unless. That's not funny, guys. No. Domestic uh, violence is not a joke. No. Hey, but you know what time it is, right? <gasps> question corners, question corners, question corners with Lily. Where the questions are fresh on her mind. <laughs> I feel like my question is a little insensitive <laughs> right now. Let's go. Insensitive? Yeah. So maybe I'll ask it and then we can cut it out if you guys decide it's insensitive. <laughs> Lily. Yeah. yeah, we'll cut it out. It, I had been thinking about it for a couple of days and then recent events occurred. Oh, no. So we could either call it relevant hey, or insensitive. This is a week and a half later, so it's not going to be insensitive. The time will pass. Ready? Right. Okay. We're coming into natural disaster season. Mm-hmm. Which natural disaster are you most afraid to die in? Tsunami. Can you have a name? Oh. Are you naming Tsunami, them? Yeah. Okay. tornado, wildfire, earthquake. Keep in mind, you will perish. There's no chance of surviving. How do you tsunami prefer? You, you're you most afraid of that one? Yes, I have so many nightmares about tsunamis. Oh, man. And tornadoes. <laughs> yeah. I tornadoes are terrifying. I used yes. to be so scared of tornadoes as a kid because for some reason when I was like five, I watched Twister. Yeah. yeah. And I would always ask my parents to pray that uh, Nortato didn't come. <laughs> <laughs> Get that Nortato away from me. I said, are there going to be any Nortatoes? <laughs> no Nortatoes. <laughs> I was a now really stupid tomatoes. child. No. Can, can, can we agree that that question is really, sh would you rather die by drowning or fire? Yeah, why does it have to Earthquake, be Earthquake, no, not I necessarily. Mean, you to, you're why not face no, no, it's, it? No, it's, she's saying which one are you most afraid to die in? Like, yeah. Yeah. We're going to face one of them. I think I'd rather drown than uh, burn alive. This well, one so of them's an earthquake, too, which you would just get jumbled up and swallowed into the earth. So you'd probably get crushed. Well, crushed, yeah. <laughs> or not quick. Oh, this is a tough one. <laughs> this is a tough one because a lot of it, like the tsunami, you're surviving for the most part until I it's, think it's, a, it's not a quick, quick death If at it's all. a tsunami, I think you die on impact. What? No, because it's like a rush of water. It's not like a crashing wave. Yeah, it also oh. depends like on where you are. Struggling this all all stuff. of this depends on where you are too. And so either way, it's going to be terrible. True. And the dre the the thought of dread, it would I be know. the worst part about it. I just think it. of seeing a giant wave coming mm -hmm. freaks me out. I know it makes my toes tingle. I think I'm more familiar <sighs> so with tornadoes, anxious. so I choose tornadoes because I wouldn't be as scared. How midwestern of you? Yeah, but you're not most afraid of that. <laughs> Shout out Joplin, Missouri. It's the one you'd. Most wanted. Oh out? yeah, what? Yeah, which one are you most scared of? And I guess yeah. you can answer which one are you least scared of. So oh, sorry. Would, yeah, so you tornadoes are least tornado. scared of. Okay, if that's the question, sorry. Um, least afraid of tornado. Most afraid of. Whew, man, fire would be fire. really terrifying. Fire is my, I think. My Where is one. fire coming from? That's a natural disaster. Wildfire. Oh, that. Yeah. yeah. That one for me. Where fire come from? <laughs> <laughs> what fire? Where, what is fire? <laughs> <laughs> Have an argument. Yes, this. <laughs> <laughs> I might cut this one out, but an argument for why it'd be better to die by tsunami in a fire you hear your family screaming. Oh, oh, you what's wrong with you? It's so dark. What the heck is going on, That's guys? I this actually, is not what they're here for. I called you in the car this morning. I said, should I go dark with questions corner? You said, go dark. I didn't, know, you go dark. I didn't know we were going to be talking about death. <laughs> Dark in my mind is oh, like UFOs man. and stuff. Oh man, man guys! No, I'm do you want me? Sorry, to, do you everyone. want me to pick a new question? Should I cut that? Do you ever no? No. Uh, they need to see real on, on yeah. this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
Sorry, kids this that is, are watching. This is what not now. to do. Come on. Um, do you have, a, you have another a, good question? I'm most scared of fire. No, there's one I had to prepare for. Okay, good. You're good. So, no. I'm sad. Be prepared. <laughs> oh, Oh man, I, I don't want to get into it, but uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I know, I, I, but just because oh my <laughs> because, ah. because you sang a Disney song, Billboard mm. um, listed out their top 100 Disney songs. Yes, and it is atrocious. Yeah, That's yeah. what Josh said. Absolutely awful. What's number one? Her, uh, number one is Part of Your World, which the top ten I get because there's some nostalgic ones that have like a lot to do with Disney. Mm. But golly, dude, I mean, you have some. Ta- it's a Small World is number three. What? what the song? It's a small world is number three. Who are they polling? I think it's just one. It's dude. Billboard. Okay. Yeah, like it's it's the whole company of Billboard. They're doing the top one hundred Disney songs, and it's Who crazy. Gives them the right. I know for real. It's so terrible. We are the keepers of good taste. Number one is part of your world. And the, like in it's 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 just insane to me. What song would you say? I I immediately go to Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. But I guess when you wish upon a star, that one, that's so Disney. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't, I'm trying to think of. But number 49 is the Soren theme. What? From the, from the ride. From the ride. What? <laughs> Maybe, makes... are the question, is the question like Disney, Disney music from the theme parks? No, no it's songs. Disney, the whole Disney universe. Oh my gosh. Every single, so that they have High School Musical in the top 10. Yeah. Like in the, top, in the top 100. It's absolutely no. insane. Oh my gosh. Boo. Boo. Come on, billboard. My eyes are itchy. Pull real Dude, people. Same. Really? I'm over here doing this. Are you guys hearing about this flu that's giving everybody pink eye? <laughs> what? Lily. <laughs> what? You're just, you're you're dark today. I don't know she why. She wants to come back. That's what she <laughs> said. I don't know why I want Yeah, you did come in and say, I'm ready to fight. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling a little combative. Um, I don't know what's up with that. All right. This is my last thing, okay? Because I just want to, because we're speaking combative. This is, this kind of plays into the um, Aztec death whistle, okay? This is another instrument that was played. Where? By the Celtic army. Celtic. 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 And it was, uh, this is the sound the Roman soldiers would have heard in the Celtic enemies in wherever they were fighting. Dude, I saved this. This was almost my reel. Yeah. Oh my God. Listen, just the sound. Oh, geez, sorry. My bad. Come on, Golly. Andy. <laughs> Bro. You're done. You're done. Say goodbye to your family. <laughs> I have. Get your affairs in order. I have goosebumps <laughs> on goosebumps. Dude, it's so scary. I just imagine myself there. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Looking at like the, the forest. Yeah. Not knowing that if they're coming. Or, you like, hear that? And you're like. You hear it over the hill. I don't want to be here. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> why, why was I born a man? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you just lay down. Yeah. Lay down. <laughs> yeah. I, I died already. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I thought already. Don't oh, keep walking. you guys! I I actually forgot my spear <laughs> <laughs> in my tent, dude. Why you throw <laughs> that at me? I'm sorry. Ah. Oh my gosh! Terrifying. You just stab yourself. In the spear. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go home, guys. <laughs> I got cut. Everyone, I'm gonna go to the medic tent. It's infected. <laughs> What's infection? <laughs> what is that word? Is that um, ketchup? What's ketchup? <laughs> Oh, um, are you guys ready for the things that I was supposed to talk about last week? The Count of Saint-Germain. Okay. Saint-Germain. Sorry. You did, I was going to set it up. I was like. You did set it up, up and you no, didn't no, no, say no. it. And you guys are supposed to say, yeah, wait, what were you going to talk about? Wait, okay, sorry, oh, sorry, oh, sorry, do it from the top. <clears throat> What were you going to talk about? Wait. Wait. Sorry. Wait for the line. You'll wait. You'll you'll know when to say it. (laughs) So I got something for you guys, and it's something that I was going to talk about last week. What is it, Josh? What? Okay. Tell me the timing. (laughs) The Count of Saint-Germain. The Count of Saint-Germain. 
Germain? Germain. <laughs> Germain. The Count of Saint Saint Germain. Saint Germain. Saint Germain. Let's just it's, keep saying it. A lot it of people, for the next a lot of people say it, it said it differently. Oh. Like on the multiple things I listen to. He was one of the most mysterious men in all of history. Wow. When? <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> why wouldn't I laugh at that? Whoa. Whoa. That was you that made that yeah. noise? What? Yeah. That was Andrew. No. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> now you're just trying to show up with your voice. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, sounds like the guy who does the makeup for Miss Doubtfire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> We're going to make it look beautiful. Mother's going to love you. <laughs> That's very good. Um, okay. The uh, Count of Saint Germain. Um, was literally, he's so fascinating. And every podcast and video I watch, there's always a two part series to it because there's just, there's too much. Okay. So, what? 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 Is <laughs> Spit it out. Spit I, it out. I don't have anything. I'm just laughing at what we said. <laughs> Keep going. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, I when got was something this? good here. When did, the, when did this guy exist? When did he live? Some say forever. What do you mean? And it's still here. What do you mean by that? <laughs> okay. So this man really appeared during the 1700s in okay. Europe. And he just was, he befriended everyone of status. Like He's just a normal guy? But he okay. had all these talents. So he could speak over a dozen languages. He was a very talented painter. He said a renowned violinist. So people thought wow. that he was like a famous musician that was yeah. like hiding and like didn't want to show wow. people his true identity. Um, and he had this party trick to where he could write a poem with one hand and a love letter with this hand at the same time. What? So like this the dude, dude is super smart. A genius. Super smart. He was also an alchemist. What is that? Um, we talked about this the other day. It's like, a, like um, it's like studying... I forget because you want to say chemistry, but yeah, it's not chemistry. It's, not it's chemistry. like it's almost a little bit of a like, alchemist, like hocus pocus chemistry. Yeah, okay. kind of. Yeah, um, uh, it says the definition is a person who practices alchemy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Um, it's a medieval forerunner of chemistry. Okay, based on the transformation of matter. Um, but this dude was just fascinating, and like he never truly like they are, there's all these stories of like who he was, where he came from. And he would just mess with people. He like, became like almost like a myth at that point. Like, yeah. Like some type of legend. But literally everyone in Europe knew about him. Okay. And he even spent five years um, in the Shah of Persia's court learning uh, jewel jewelry craft. So like he would like know one of his party tricks too was not a party trick. I guess a talent he had said he had. He could yeah, take like Picasso. He had a party trick. It's good painting. <laughs> <laughs> but he said he could take a diamond with a flaw in it. And basically do this whole alchemy thing to where he melts it down what? and reformulates it to where it's a perfect diamond. And he did that with the King of France. He, the King of France had this diamond that was, had, it was a giant, big, beautiful diamond, but it had a flaw in it. And um, Saint Germain told him like, I like, let me take your diamond, give me four weeks mm -hmm. for the whole process. The diamond at that time was worth like 6,000 francs, whatever that equates to. He did it, came back. It was a perfect diamond worth double the amount of what he was given or wow. whatever. So we could just do like really, really insane, bizarre stuff. Yeah, especially um, for the 1700s. Like that's like, yeah, pretty uncommon. But there's yes. a rumor that there, so there's, I'm telling you, there's so much. Yeah. So it was yeah. like hard to like nail down like um, just uh, whatever. I'm just going to keep talking. So you guys are really quiet. I'm listening. We're all, we're, I know, but I'm like, you keep talking yourself my out brain, of this. I know my brain's going, ah, yeah. <laughs> all right. You want me to read it? No, because I like, I formulated it. Okay. Remember this morning when you joked about how you slowly, or you think you're slowly forgetting how to read? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a possibility. <laughs> um, but people commented of at these parties and stuff, he never drank. Mm -hmm. And they said that they really never saw him eat. Oh, but he would Empire. always at these parties and these gatherings, he would make his own concoction. It, it looked like a tea almost. He's a vampire. And they said he claimed to have created the Philosopher's Stone, which is, you know, from Harry Potter. Yeah. yeah. But basically what that does is it makes you live forever. And also not you need to eat. I don't know. Oh, 
I have no idea. Um, but I just thought that was weird that people were like, yeah, we never saw him eat or yeah. drink alcohol or whatever. He would always just drink his concoction that he had. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, he's a vampire. Um, but <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. There's <laughs> I, I'm trying to like, like condense it. No, don't have to. Don't feel okay. like you have to condense it. Um, but he met all these people just throughout life and stuff. Um, he was very close to uh, King Louis, the, how, I don't know, King Louis and Mary Antoinette. Yeah. And he became Mary Antoinette's uh, advisor wow. in a lot of things. And he actually warned them 15 years prior to the revolution that there was going to be a revolution. Wow. And that they need to start being prepared for that. Yes. And then 15 years later, there's a revolution. You're like, oh, Sandra, what are you even talking about? <laughs> and then, like, Come on. <laughs> at a party, he ran into a woman who recognized him from 50 years ago. Oh wow. In Venice. It's like Age of Adeline all over again. So wow. this lady met this man, walked up. She's like, are you Saint Germain? And he said, I am. And she's like, I, do you have a father? Like, or something? Because I met he someone that aged. looks exactly like you. 50 years ago and they were 45 and she said how old are you and he's like i'm 45 and that was me that you met <gasps> and people were like what and so like he got all these questions and so when he was asked questions of like um like oh my gosh so he's I'm like s- playing into it he's like not like yeah. trying to cover anything up well he would he would like play into it but when people would call him out he's like i'm just kidding just joking yeah. i'm just joking yeah i'm a million years old <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> but he would, at these parties he would tell these stories and recount history like he was there yeah in fact he talked about um very historical facts about jesus and like Ooh, like, like all this, this. stuff I know and it's a little spooky. It's a weird, yeah, it's spooky, right? It's and like then, only, yeah. And then one lady said, "If you're talking about Jesus, like you were there, that means you have to be over a thousand years old." And then they looked at his servant because he had these servants with them. They said, "Is he a thousand years old?" And the servant said, "I wouldn't know if he's a thousand years old. I'm only three hundred years old." Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? <laughs> spooky. This is this is a great scary story, but like, but this guy was an actual historical person. Like, there's record, like actual historical record of this dude oh yeah but oh the weird part is he would never he to the day that he supposedly died which that's a whole thing yeah he never said who his where he came from about his family yeah his true identity some people speculated that he was which i never knew about this person until i started researching this have you heard of cartophilus no have you no which this is like don't again <laughs> Everything yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you're good. You're you good. look like but a sup- Cartophilus. <laughs> Cartophilus is a person, uh, and they called him the Wandering Jew. Mm-hmm. And supposedly this man, Cartophilus, was cursed by Jesus. Oh, my gosh. When Jesus was on his way to be crucified, he mocked Jesus. And then Jesus said, You'll, you are going to walk every day on this earth until I return again. Like, you basically, oh you're goodness. cursed with immortality. I don't know about that. What I know, but I know. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. I'm just saying okay. this, this is speculation. This is the story that they've, yeah, that, yeah. That, okay. that was passed down. But other people have said that he is. Um, that wouldn't make any sense that Jesus would say that because he didn't, he didn't say anything to the people that were literally flogging him. Again. Okay. Not what I'm saying. <laughs> this is what some people this have said. Just the story. And then some people have speculated that he's Marlin. You know, like Marlon the wizard yeah. from like King Arthur oh, time. Merlin. Merlin. Yeah. Not Marlin. <laughs> I was Marlin. thinking fish. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, he's a um, fish. <laughs> uh, and then others have speculated that he is son of Francis Rakosi the second, Prince of Transylvania. Oh, that's vampiric. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's um, vampire country, baby. <laughs> someone said that he could be the illegitimate son of Maria Anna, who was the widow of King Charles the second of Spain, mm. which I don't know. We'll talk on another podcast about King yeah. Charles, but terrifying. Mm. Illegitimate. Yeah. Um, and then someone said that he was the king, uh, son of the king of Portugal, John V. And then others have said that he was the 1600 scientist, Sir Francis Bacon, who oh. it later came out. There's a rumor that he was the one that wrote all the Shakespeare plays. What? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Interesting. That's so Golly. interesting. That that just reminds me of like it sounds very witchy type yeah, of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Because like I mean I don't know what people like, but the the accounts that people have in Haiti 
and in yeah, Africa yeah. about like witch doctors and stuff. And it's like that stuff could have existed back then. It's Who spooky. knows? It's so. Scary. So I'll wrap up with when, this. When you when you oh. talk about him, it makes me think of that Rolling Stones song, um, "Sympathy for the Devil," where he talks about wandering around and having been a part of all these huge historical events and being like an entertainer and all that. Ew. Yeah, I don't like Spooky. that. Spooky. Well, it, I mean, witchcraft. I've never heard that song in my life. Witchcraft and that sort of thing, if we're talking about that, is biblically accurate. You know, you yeah. think about Saul, he had a witch summon the dead. Yeah. So it's possible yeah. for super, supernatural to exist. Yeah. But so. Spooky. Um, People have reported him seeing him throughout his life in the 1700s. Everywhere, like in the world, yeah, like in India, in America, even. Really, and this is the weird part: the America thing. He's Donald Trump. So, <laughs> his name in, is Baron Trump. In, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had a burp. It's Donald Trump. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no. Um, so during the signing of the Declaration of Independence, it was mm-hmm. they're Stop locked it. in the courtroom, right? They locked all the doors because yeah. it was very. Can't do this. Hush, no. hush. And there's a ton of all the founding fathers were there. The story goes that they were hesitant to signing the Declaration of Independence. Right. And there was a man that stood up wearing all like a black suit. Like like what he was like known for like yeah. wearing black. He stood up um, and gave this big speech about freedom, freedom of men. And like you need to be your own country and that gave the courage to John Hancock growing up there and signing first and all these other men went up yeah. and that's how so sign but, a big John but when they went and turned around to see who, who that was? man was he was gone ah! Jeez, but like people Batman. that but people in America that have met St. Germain in Europe they said that looked like St. Germain oh my, oh my gosh yeah Jeez but Louise, this he, is a big, this is a crazy, I've never heard of the story. How have I never heard of that's this? That's what I'm saying. What I, did you hear about? Because you obviously knew the name of it he's last an, week. Yeah, he's, he's a character in an, Outlander. He's a character in Outlander, but I'm disappointed with Diana Gabaldon or how what you say. She didn't do? She, he was like, he was portrayed as like this kind of evil guy, you know, which is like, it sounds like maybe that's what's happening here, but never like supernatural or spooky, which it's just like she could have done a, a, a huge yeah, piece like on him. A, yeah. There needs to be like an own, like his own show. Yeah. Not really. But this is where the whole theory that he's not dead now. Yeah. Um, he was recorded dying in 1784 in Germany, but they like it was so secretive and like only like the servants saw him died and they buried him. Yeah. And um, but then he was spotted by uh, Marie Antoinette's friend who wrote about him multiple times because. He was like an advisor. Yeah. She reported seeing him five times after his supposed death. Wow. One time in 1793, watching Marie Antoinette get beheaded. Beheaded. So he was present for her wow. beheadness. Beheading. Yeah. <laughs> beheadness. <laughs> beheadness. <laughs> um, and then the last time she saw him was in 1820, two years before she died. And so there's just, but there even people. Up until the 1970s, were claiming to have seen him. Wow, just wandering. That is so trippy. And there's there's hours oh, there's, and yeah, hours. There's so more much more of different stories and like oh, what he wow. did here, what he did there. Like he was like caught as being a is spy there, one time. Is there like paintings of him or anything like that? There's like, one drawing of. Him. I want to see it. Okay, hold on. Oh, then, I don't know if I want to. No, he just looks like a. <laughs> it's just like ca- an old it's like, dude. It's like carrot top. Okay. <laughs> it's right here. Wait, it's carrot top. <laughs> yeah, that's him. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. I'd recognize that feller anywhere. So, yep. I know that was a little hodgepodgey. No, that was good. That was crazy. I like that's a that's a fun little story to like to keep reading about because I've never heard of that. I'll give you the podcast to listen to about it because it's so fascinating. Yeah. And the thing is, there's probably so much stuff built around it, Mm -hmm. you know, over time. Folklore, yeah. But there's there's got to be some truth to some of it because like yeah. that's, I mean, yeah. having all those counts all come together and all work together. That's strange. My personal belief yeah. is that he was just a swindler. Yeah. yeah. He was a very highly intelligent man Yeah, that like, like a con that, but man. he like, they got off on, you know, just being coming, like just showing he, off. He was so fascinating friends. that he like, people took on his identity. Yeah. You yeah. know, oh, like, yeah, yeah. and so like, that's why 
he was always present because they always talked about what he wore, how he acted, what he would talk about. Yeah, he's probably so like a trendsetter. Like, yeah, and so like yeah. all these people around the world were probably Impersonating. like, I am yeah. San Germain. Yeah. Yeah. I am anonymous. Oh. So that is the Count of San Germain. Wee ah! wee. Oui, oui. <laughs> Better known as Donald Trump. <laughs> His name was Nikola Tesla. <laughs> San Germain grew up to be Barack Obama. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> no! I am the Count of Saint Germain. <laughs> Snap, that brain. Um, but yeah, that's it. Spooky. That is very spooky. Good job, Dad. That's a fun one. Yeah, that's a fun. You did great. One. You did great. Did I? Yeah, you did. Yes. Promise. Hey, hey, you did great, pal. Thanks. It's proud of your sport. You're squeezing my finger hard. <laughs> Pop it. I was gonna squeeze really hard, but I remember your finger is really hurt, <laughs> dude. It's still hurt, like really bad. Yeah, you need to go see a doctor. I think it's popped out of place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's uh, that's all I got. There's a, a fun fact I learned recently is that um, all of MTV Cribs was completely fake. <laughs> How? What? How? They would rent out mansions. No. And make get. No, it is 100% real because there's clips when people look back because you had to make a reality show. And so what they did after a while, like the, I think like the first season they were actually using real people, but then they would get to the point where, okay, say, I don't know, like, Soldier Boy. I don't know if he did one, but it's like has a really one big hit. They want to use that, you know, that momentum oh. that person has. And so they're like, hey, we're going to go to Soldier Boys. And it's like, how do you have this big of a mansion and 16 Lamborghinis already? Like, it's like, it can't happen. But there's that's crazy. Wow. There's there's one where this guy walks into the bathroom. It's I can't remember who it was, but it was one of the celebrities. And he walks into the bathroom and there's no mirror up there. And he <laughs> says, uh, yeah, because when I moved in, I just they didn't have a mirror up there. And I just kind of just. Figured we didn't need one. And so he just walks out. It's like, what are you talking about? He's making this up. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, but apparently uh, um, the rapper Redman came out and did like a celebrity interview on it. Um, yeah, it was Moby, the rapper. Well, that was Moby. like the the Pimp My Ride, too. Because, yep. so you know, they came out, those were all actors. Really? Like the people with the cars. And like they made the cars so unfunctional. <laughs> like it was, oh, what, what was the one? Like they had a hot tub like, like we, inside we, the car. We heard that you like. Uh, going to the beach and looking at the waves. So we installed these pop-up binoculars at the top of your windshield. <laughs> like, it's like, this is ridiculous. What okay. the heck? I know. I always thought it was so funny because like, I I just realized it from a very young age. And I'm sure a lot of it's obvious now, but like, I'm sure a lot of people saw it. But like, they're outside the person's house and they just happen to like, yell like, yo, Adrian. And then Adrian walks out in a complete outfit. And yeah. it's like, looks, they are so ready. And I was like, this is all f so fake. Yeah. I'm like, what, how did we ever fall for this? I fell for it for a very long time into my adulthood. And then I married Josh and he's ruined all TV for me <laughs> <laughs> because he'll just mention, he'll be like, you know, this is how they had to set this up and do this and film that. And I'm like, stop, you're ruining TV for that's me. That's how I talk. It, 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 yeah, that's <laughs> an, you know, that's how like, they had to set up oh. like this. So <laughs> It's actually not real. I can't hear it. It's so annoying. That noise. <laughs> <laughs> Your voice is so <laughs> shrilly. Uh, uh, but that's why I can't sit watch cooking competitions anymore. Because uh, they'll sit like something bad is happening. They'll burn their hands. Someone left, you know, the panel oh, on and burn the their hands. And then suddenly the interview is like, and it was at that moment I realized. I was like, and, and they'll, they'll, they'll literally say like, what? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, you, this is after the fact. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so many hours after the fact. And yeah. like, you're acting like it's as, like, like they're like, being inter tricked. They're being interviewed, <laughs> like, while, or they're like already, like, sent home. Yeah. yeah. So, like, you lost. And they're like, throughout the line, they're like, I don't know if I'm going to make it in time. I think, Stop I think it. a funny, I think a funny sketch would be if, uh, as soon as yeah, as soon as like in the kitchen, like like quick, no, you gotta as soon like get off your plate. Yeah. Let's go in here. Let's have an interview quick and go back out. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just rushing it's them like, in and out. Okay, <gasps> yeah. My favorite like edit cut is when they make someone look really awkward. They just use clips of them staring. Oh. But or, you yeah, know, like, it was they're, like they're just listening to a conversation, yeah, exactly. but it's muted. <laughs> yeah, and so it makes them yeah. like, or they roll their eyes, dude. It's yeah. so manipulative. Kind of like what is that uh, Love Is Blind show on Netflix? Yes. How, dude, they're getting like sued apparently Why? because oh, they yeah. were, they were no this joke. They were being starved. They were staying up all night. Starved? They couldn't leave. Like no joke. When you watch the, the, the watch of clips, I've seen, I haven't watched the show, but I've seen clips of them like literally falling asleep during talks because they're kept up all night. They're not, yeah, not it's, only it's, that, it's, but they said that whenever they would ask for water, they would just bring them alcohol instead. Stop it. Yeah. And so like, they were like, can I just get a bottle of water? Yeah, it like, is. well, here's a beer or a wine. And it's oh my like, gosh. Anything to make. They said they lost, uh, they didn't know like what time it was during the day. <gasps> like they said the only time that they were able to see the sun 
is when they went out to the trailer to use the restroom. Stop it. That was yeah. it. It's scary. That's like black mirror dude, stuff, dude. Yeah, dude. Hey, speaking of black mirror, oh, Vision Pro, dude. Apple Vision Pros. We'll end on this. Dude, That those things, everyone's probably seen it. $3,500 starting at $3,500. They have those new VR. Apple released those new VR goggles. And oh my goodness. it's You said it's not it's cameras, right? You're yeah. seeing through and you're being, getting projections in front of you. And so- Of what? Uh, I mean- Your surroundings. The space. The Wait. space, but then you have your apps pop up as it's holograms like, basically. And you they have this one feature that like, what is it? The memory feature? That they have that you can oh, add, you he, that, you can was that part of Vision Pro? I don't though? know if that was Vision Pro. That's but it was, literally Black Mirror. Yeah, what's well, it's a software that someone's developed like an app. Yeah, it's where you can film something. Like I can film you now, and in twenty years I can come back to this spot Aww. and w- look at you sitting on the couch and stuff with your with the gog. You could literally see it happening. Wow, like a home but video. Like, but is that, that not like the most Black Mirrorish type of yeah, thing it's in the creepy world? As yeah. Well. It's creepy as heck. Absolutely. But Andrew had a fun fact about it. Yeah, the uh, the sound that they use, it's not in your ears. It's right above it, but it's the most immersive sound experience because if you're, like, looking at things over here and things over here, you need, like, the sounds to come from those spaces. Right. And so that's how it's all pitched. But what they do is they're listening to the waves bouncing back, and they can detect. It's like radar or sonar or whatever, like, hitting and coming back. They can detect what the material is. Like, is it a pillow? Is it a hard surface? So that the sound is balanced. So it sounds like you're laying on a pillow. Or no, no, no. Oh. Like, like <laughs> do what? I don't understand. Like, if, you, if you yell at a hard wall, okay. there's sound that bounces back. Right. So they're going to change how they're projecting the sound for you. And first. if you yell at a pillow. It would be dead over You suck on the pillow. Let <laughs> yeah, me drop the pillow. <laughs> so the, the point is it scans the room to know what the environment is. It can tell what the material is, what the environment is. It can tell brands. It can literally read the entire layout of anywhere wow. So this is this Data is no- collection. This yeah. is noise, oh, for data, noise like, collection. And this is relevant why? This is <laughs> noise canceling evolving. Like this is the that, next step for noise cancellation and the, like so and they, reading the rooms and understanding the noises and how, how to distribute that. They'll know stuff. where you are and what saying, that means. They're saying it's so that there's a more immersive experience, but oh. they're using sound to create scans, visualizations. Scary! Yeah, visualizations that get logged. Even the technology though of the eye tracking, they said they'll when you first put it on, they'll display dots that you have to follow with your eyes. And so you don't, necessarily like there's no mouse and stuff to click on apps your eyes find it perfectly yeah and you do this with your hand to click it and that and yeah and apparently the, how does the, it know exactly it has sensors all over it and that's the thing it's like there they there's some type of technology beyond the cameras that registers your hands and they your body your hand movements. Be, they yeah. said your hand could be down here and, and you're you doing click this. it yeah <laughs> got him got him I, um, I just want i can't wait to try i'm just to feel like iron man yeah. I just always, like, you know, always those little holograms you move. I feel like holograms. Just yeah. That's crazy. I like the memory aspect of it, though. There's so many things I wish I could go back and look at. Yeah. It's kind of creepy, though. It, it is, is creepy. creepy. I've, I've watched too much Black Mirror to it, think it's yeah. cute. That's a that's literal like, episode of Black Mirror. You yeah, like the, that one? the replay one? Yes. Oh, man, that's a bad episode, too. That it is rough. terrible. To add some Ooh. legitimacy, I know we're trying to wrap up, but I have a friend who has a friend who works in military intelligence, and he was saying they can already use cell phones, the Wi-Fi in the room, and I may have said this before, but they can use Wi-Fi. He said if a phone is in your pocket, they can read your inseam. Like, <gasps> literally, your measurements based on Wi-Fi bouncing already. You know what they're reading then? <laughs> what waist nothing. Wait, waist nothing. size waist size <laughs> dang he's really gained some weight <laughs> <laughs> and it's like it just keeps pushing notification like hey maybe we should work out oh my gosh <laughs> did you know they the, okay we'll end with this because you brought up wi-fi <laughs> yeah, well let's just keep talking until we end um, <laughs> these, picking outros. these students at a college did an experiment to see what wi-fi like routers from a wi-fi Wi-Fi from a router has on our bodies, like mm-hmm. the impact it does. And so they did oh like no. two enclosed things and they put one router in there with no Wi-Fi, the other one in there with Wi-Fi and they grew these seeds. The one with no Wi-Fi grew perfectly fine. The one oh, with with the Wi-Fi going off of it, not only did the seeds not grow, it killed all of them. You're kidding. We're unplugging no. our router when we get home. <laughs> our children live there. Okay. Ada, what are you going to do? Ada, Ada's going to stay that small forever, Josh. Oh, no. <laughs> She's 24. She's just <laughs> still next, playing in the dirt. This next, is so scary. Next podcast, you should look into 5G and all oh, the conspiracies yeah. around that. Yeah, for There's real. A lot. I've heard some of them. 
Guys, I'm going to freak out. I All wa- right. I watched uh, the, the Blackberry uh, movie about the phone. Uh, have you haven't seen that? No. The, the, it's the invention of the Blackberry that made, they came out of the movie um, recently, and it's actually really, really good. Yeah. You need to watch it. My uncle had a Blackberry, and he used to call it his Crackberry. <laughs> yeah, that's that they mentioned that in the movie oh, because really? it's it was like before it was before um, iPhones, and so yeah. it was the yeah. phone to have. It was a status symbol. It was a big deal, and then suddenly they're like, "Hey, let's get rid of the keyboard." And the BlackBerry people are like, "That's so dumb. It's never gonna take off." <laughs> <laughs> We're really laughing at movie. you now. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho. You know All right. That? Oh, okay. <laughs> we're just going to keep going. You know that old video that's like, no wonder people are afraid of technology. And it's a guy holding the oh, sign. Yeah, he goes, like, technology. technology. <laughs> she screams. Yeah. That's me. Why a do child. people fear technology? <laughs> technology. technology! <laughs> um, all right. That's Let's it, begin. everyone. Give Actually, us one five. more thing. <laughs> I'm one more thing. Do you really? Nope. Love you. Um, five all stars right. on everything. Apple, Please. Spotify, subscribe to our YouTube because we just hit 400,000. You guys can help us get to a million. Yeah, do you think we can reach a million by the end of the year? Let's try it. We I had, think we, we had, can. We had 100 at the end of January, and yeah. now we're at 400. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't know anything about it's math, but the projections, guys. should we should be at a million if we keep this pace up. Where should they comment? It's because of them. Thank you. Yeah. Comment, is Lily insensitive for asking that question, yes or no? Yeah. Yeah, and did Andrew go too far? <laughs> <laughs> All right, love you. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's <laughs> most beautiful As an empty your mind. You were martial arts. Fuck ninja ninja! I show you one more reel as an outro. Yeah. Please. Right. Please. Sure. Everybody, real quick. Okay. Sound? Uh, sure. I don't think it matters. No sound. Ready? Three, two, one. Click. No, no, dude. <gasps> Why are you doing this? Wait, what is it attached to? Dude, uh, we can't. Well, I'm not going. We're not showing that. <laughs> we're not showing it, but I'll watch it. Wait, I can't. Oh, we're not showing it, but we're gonna watch it. Oh, okay. I thought he was bungee I jumping. Bungee jumping too. That was gonna be a lot worse. Either way. Yeah. The Wait, dude. he got that ta- like, yep. like he has hooks pierced, in him. Oh, that's terrible! Him? That's terrible! That is awful. Andrew, <laughs> dark man today. We're dark all, man, we're kind of always. Dark. <laughs> Yikes! Oh.